This is Johnny Walker with Red Zero Gaming, and today we're going to be playing around with the Spaz 12 a bit. Um, we put FMJ on it, and I just used it in a running gun class as far as uh, perks go. I just went with uh, Marathon, um, Stopping Power, and Ninja Pro. And uh, I'd been uh, getting tubed all day, and people have been team camping, so I got kind of tired of it. So I just kind of wanted to run around with something different and see how it worked out. Um, so this is what I kind of come up with. I threw the shotgun on the, the running gun class just to see how it would do. And against these guys, it turned out pretty impressive. Um, I think I go 38 and 4 or something in this match. And uh, after I got to using this a bit, um, I realized that the range is really, really far on this gun, especially with stopping power and FMJ. You really seem to be able to. Uh, reach out there, get those uh, double kills on people that are close together. I mean, uh, it's definitely no uh, old school Akimbo 1887s, but uh, this gun's pretty much up there. I mean, now that they nerfed 1887s, I don't think they even compare to this gun. Um, but, you know, any gun's deadly with really isn't. Every gun has a weakness. This one's reload time is what its downfall is. It's got a huge load and you can pack a lot of ammo with it. Um, but uh, like I said, its downfall is that, that pumping animation. And it's, uh, you, in real close quarter combat, you get that one shot before you get knifed or and you know, that pumping anima animation actually gets in the way of the knife. So. I don't know. Um, it has its strengths, it has its weaknesses, but if used correctly, this weapon is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, the Spaz 12 definitely has my approval. And uh, I don't know, tell me what you guys think. Do you think uh, this is a little too powerful? Um, do you think the old 1887s were equal to this? Or I mean, just tell me what you think. Um, I definitely think the Spaz 12 was a little. Uh, a little easier going than the, the 1887s, it wasn't as overpowered, but this gun right now as it stands looks pretty, uh, as far as range wise goes, it's just amazing compared to what they, they nerfed the 1887s down to, which makes sense because, well, it's a single shot pump shotgun compared to, you know, a Kembo with that, you know, the same kind of accuracy. So, I think the, the nerf was needed for the 1887s. But uh, I think the Spaz 12 is pretty powerful, used in the right way. So, oh, tell me what you think. Um, well, there's, I know this is kind of cheap, but uh, I used all day, so I was about tired of all the shenanigans going on. So uh, I decided to do a little bit of my own and be a big pain in the ass to the enemy teams I could. But uh, tell me what you think, and uh, I'm just gonna let you enjoy the rest of the video and just. Watch away. It's Johnny Walker with Red Zero Gaming, and uh, we'll see you next time.
find incoming. online. Dear Lee Breaker Sweat, nice work.